Welcome back to another video. Today, starting with our Christmas crochets, we have a jam jar lid cover. I don't know if that's how it's called, but that's how my grandma used to call it. And I really wanted to share this with you guys because it means so, so much to me. It's so special that I can actually share these things with you guys. My grandma, she used to make everything in her house, all the decorations in crochet, including the Christmas tree ornaments, like table runners. There were so many things that she used to make that I remember and that I really wanted to share with you guys. And this one here in particular was something that I used to love and that I still remember until now. She used to put it on top of her kitchen cabinets. I don't know if you guys remember your grandma doing this and decorating everything with crochet and knitting or like sewing, but my grandma was a handmade lady <laughs> and she used to make everything herself. So this was something that she used to make. And this is something that you can decorate your table if you're setting up a Christmas table or like just like for afternoon tea and you have some handmade jams or spreads that you usually place inside of a jar you guys can actually make this to decorate your table and i can just imagine this on top of the table it's gonna look so pretty everyone is going to be like so amazed and impressed with you that you actually made something handmade and to decorate the table you can just undo here the little bow and you can remove the little cover as you can see and it's going to review the jar and it's going to look super super pretty you can also open like this as you can see and you can place it back and it's basically like a little cover for the jar. You can also wash this by hand if you want. But yeah, guys, this is what I'm going to be showing you guys in today's video. I really hope you guys enjoy. It means so much to me that I want to share with you guys. So these are the materials that we are going to be using. First, starting with the yarns right here. So I have two yarns from teslan.com. This one is the Celine yarn in the color mustard. And this one right here is the Barry yarn in the color radical red. And then I also have a cream one, which is from Hayfields, and I'm going to be linking the shade in the description below because I don't remember the shade of this one. And I also have this scrap yarn right here in the shade black. And also I'm going to be using a tapestry needle and a small pair of scissors. Also for today's video, I have right here the yarn story hooks. So today is also going to be the very first giveaway for these hooks right here, as I mentioned on my video reviewing these hooks right here. I'm going to be linking that in the description if you guys want to check it out. And today I'm giving away this little kit right here. It comes with six hooks, as you guys can see, all the way from four millimeters to 6.5. And these ones right here, they are light up crochet hooks. They are super fun to work with. And also in my review video, I do explain a little bit more about them. So feel free to check it out. And with this kit right here, you also receive a replacement battery set, which is also good to know exactly which battery you will need once you have to buy new ones for the hooks as well. And to win this kit, all you have to do is to subscribe to my channel, like this video and comment below your crochet ideas for this Christmas. I would love to know your crochet projects for this Christmas or if you don't have anything in mind let me know in the comments if you guys have any requests for this Christmas any video requests any tutorial that you guys want to learn I would love to know so just follow the steps I'll have also more information and everything explained again in the description if you guys want to check it's going to be at the very beginning of the description so you know everything about this giveaway and the announcement will be made on the 11th of December 2020 so you will be able to have your little kit before Christmas time as a little gift from me and from Yarn Story. And also I'm going to be having another giveaway for December when I post another video using these hooks right here. And also I'm going to be having another one for January and then for February as well. So super excited about the giveaways. This giveaway is also internationally so everyone can participate. And this is my kit right here. As you guys can see, I'm also going to be having a giveaway on another kit exactly like this one so you guys can have 
matching with me and that's going to be for the next month giveaway on these hooks right here and for today's video we are going to be using a four millimeters hook so the hook in the shade pink they all have different colors so it's super easy for you guys to remember the colors and know also what millimeters they are so i'm going to be using a four millimeters for today's video so before we start i just want to measure this for you guys so you guys know the sizing that we are working with because then you guys can just decide on the pattern that you're doing you don't have to follow this one what you guys can do is just have the measurement in mind and then you guys can do any round any crochet round that you guys want in any other pattern so the sizing for this one is 17 centimeters and then in inches that's around seven inches as you guys can see it's nearly nearly seven inches and you guys can use any yarn weight that you guys want i am using here a mixture as you guys can see so these two right here they are number three this one is number four and this one is number five so dk worsted and i think this one is called bulky is it bulky? I think it's called bulky. So I'm going to be doing the middle in cream. So I'm going to be starting here first with a magic ring. And then we are going to be chaining two. What we are going to be doing for most of this project is creating a three double crochet cluster. And it's basically three double crochets in one stitch. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. The very first one, we are counting the chain here as a double crochet. So what you're going to be doing is wrapping the yarn around the hook. You're gonna go around the magic ring. You're going to pull up a loop and then you're going to yarn over and pull through only two loops. So the first two. And then you're going to be doing that one more time. Wrap it around the hook, go around the magic ring, you're going to pull up a loop right here, yarn over and pull through the first two. So now we have three loops here on the hook. What we are going to be doing is just yarn over and pull through the three loops together. And then in between the clusters, we are going to be chaining two. So I'm just going to show you guys one more time how to make the clusters. So wrap the yarn around the hook, go around the magic ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops. And then you're going to be repeating this two more times. So now you're going to be having four loops on the hook. What you're going to be doing is just yarn over and pull through all those loops together. And then you're going to chain two, and then create the next cluster. So what you're going to be doing now is repeating the same until you have six clusters. I'm going to be creating mine right here and then I'll meet you guys right at the end. So once you have created the six clusters right here, we are going to be now closing the magic ring by pulling this yarn right here. And to finish this first row, we are going to be chaining two and then we are just going to be connecting into any of the stitches here from the top, from the other side, here, with a slip stitch. So now we are going to chain one. We are going to be cutting the yarn right here and we are going to fasten off and change the color. So the next one I'm going to be doing in black. So we are going to be creating a slip knot right here and we are going to be attaching into any of the spaces here in between the clusters right on top of the chain two just right here so you're gonna go through the chain and right here we are going to be creating a single crochet and right on top of the chain two right here we are going to be creating one cluster a chain of two and another cluster all into that same space right here so we are going to be starting with a chain of two and then right here we are going to be creating a cluster and then we are going to be creating a chain of two and another cluster into that same chain two space so now we are going to chain two again and into the next space we are going to be creating a cluster chain of two and another cluster so basically following 
the same steps as we did into the very first space right here. So now we can just repeat the same steps going all the way around and then I'll meet you guys right at the end. So once you get at the end, you're going to be chaining two right here and then connecting here to the other side with a slip stitch. And then now we are going to chain one and then fasten off so we can change into the next color. So we are going to be starting first with a slip knot. So I'm going to be starting first in between the two clusters here together because right here is going to be only one cluster and then right here is going to be two clusters as we did here into the previous row. So right in between the two clusters right here, I'm going to be attaching my yarn and I'm going to be chaining two. So right here I'm going to be creating only one cluster. And then we are going to be chaining two. So now into the next space available, we are going to be creating one cluster, a chain of two and another cluster. So just following the same steps as we did into the previous row. Chain two, and then on top of these two here, we are going to be doing only one cluster. So what we're going to be doing now is just repeating the same pattern all the way around, and then I'll meet you guys right at the end. So now to finish this row, we are going to chain two, and then we are going to be connecting right here to the other side with a slip stitch. And then chain one, cut the yarn and fasten off. So now with our last shade right here, I'm using the mustard one. You're going to be creating a slip knot. So I'm going to be attaching it right here with a single crochet. We are going to be starting with a chain of two. And then we are going to be creating two double crochets into the same stitch right here. We are not going to be chaining, we are going to go into the next chain 2 space and we are going to be creating 3 double crochets. So how you create a double crochet? You wrap the yarn around the hook, you go through the chain 2 space, you pull up a loop right here and then you're going to yarn over, pull through 2, yarn over, pull through the last 2. So that's a double crochet. So now every time you find a chain two space, you're going to be creating three double crochets. And we are going to be repeating this all the way around. When you get at the end right here, we are just going to be connecting to the other side with slip stitch. Depending on the yarn that you're using, you will have to add more rows or even remove a few rows. For this one, I've done here one, two, three, four, five, six rows. For this one, I have already four and it's nearly the sizing of this one that I made. And as you can see right here, if I place it on the top, it's nearly the size of the, the first one that I made. And that's just because this row here with the bulky yarn, it's nearly the size of these two rows right here because the yarn, it's thicker than all of the other ones that I'm using. At the moment right here, I have 14 centimeters in which is five and a half inches. 14 centimeters, it's basically five rows in total in which right here I have already four and that made already the same size. So what I'm going to be doing is just removing one row from this one, which is basically the one with the double crochets going all the way around. And I'm going to be jumping into the last row right here. If you have a yarn number three, the yarn weight, what you're going to be doing is creating one more row with only double crochets going all the way around. So no chaining or anything, just double crochets going all the way around. Because if I add this extra row right here, what's going to happen is going to be bigger than the 17 centimeters that I want. 
So I'm just going to show you guys how to make with the double crochets into the, the next row right here on top of this row. So you're going to be chaining two and then into the next stitch available, so this one right here, you're going to be doing the first double crochet. And then you're going to be creating double crochets going all the way around just following the stitches here from the previous row and then when you get at the end you're just going to be connecting into this stitch right here with a slip stitch so that's basically what you're going to be doing i'm going to be skipping this row right here as i already have the sizing that i need and i'm gonna go into the last row which is basically creating the little shells that goes here all the way around so to create the shells we are first going to be chaining one and then into the next stitch we are going to be creating three double crochets one two and three all in the same stitch and then into the next stitch available we are going to be creating a slip stitch into the next one a shell which is basically three double crochets into the same stitch and then into the next one a slip stitch oops this one was hard <laughs> and this is basically what we are going to be doing all the way around and then I'll meet you guys right at the end. And if you get at the end and you don't have an even stitch to finish it off, that's completely fine. What you're going to be doing when you make the last shell right here is just skip this one. And then we're going to go into the next one. And right here, we are going to be doing our slip stitch. And then to finish this row here off, we are going to go into the very first stitch right here which is the chain one that we've created and then right here you want to make sure that it's nice and tight the yarn on the hook as well and then you're just going to be slip stitching that in place so we can just finish this row and then we are going to chain one and then cut the yarn and fasten off and also if we measure this one as you can see it's 17 centimeters which is the centimeters that we need and now before we create the string that is going to go all the way around here we are going to be weaving in all of the yarn here at the back of our project so i'm going to be showing you guys on this one but i use the same technique for all of them and right here i just thread my tapestry needle here with my yarn and then what i do is i just go through a couple of stitches right here and then I choose a stitch, as you can see. Then I go through another one that it's kind of on the side. And then on that one, I go through that stitch one more time. And before I finish the sewing, I just go through the loop. And then I fasten off right here. And this is just going to fasten off here our yarn. And now we can just cut the yarn right here and that's how I weave in so now I'm just gonna do the same into all of the other yarns that I have here at the back so now for the string you can choose any two yarns that you want I'm going to be doing I think the cream with the mustard because I do love those two colors together and then with these two yarns we are going to be creating a slip knot so what we are going to be doing now is create right here a chain of 80. You guys can decide on any other sizing that you guys want. I just thought that a chain of 80 worked pretty well. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So once you have finished right here with your chain of 80, you're going to be just chaining an extra of one. So 81, we are going to be cutting the two yarns right here. And then we are just going to be pulling this and fasten off. And now to create the little tassels here. So now you're going to be holding the two yarns just like this on top of your fingers. And then you're just going to go around as many times as you want until you have the puffness here of the tassel that you want. 
I'm gonna go probably around 10 or 12 and see how that looks. So once you have the amount you want, you're just going to be cutting it right here, the end. And then you're also going to be cutting the bottom right here. So I have separated right here eight pieces for each of the sides. You guys can choose any thickness that you guys want. And then you're going to get one of them and you're going to be folding it in half. And then you're gonna get the end of your string. We are gonna go through the very last stitch right here. And we have to pass all of these yarns right here through that stitch. It's gonna be a little bit hard, but it works. So once you have all of them through that stitch, you're gonna get all of the yarn that you have right here and you will pass through this loop, just like this. So now we can just pull the ends right here and it's going to tighten the loop that we've created here at the top. So once you have done that, you guys can decide the sizing of the tassel. This one I'm going to be doing a little bit smaller than the other one that I've created. So around this size right here. So now I'm going to be doing the same on the other side. So the last thing we have to do is just to pass the string here into our second to last stitch, going all the way around in a zigzag motion. So you guys can choose any of the stitches to start with. I'm going to be starting it right here and just leaving a little bit of the string here. And then with this one, we can go through in between the double crochets just like this, in a zigzag motion, going all the way around. So as you can see, I'm here into my last one. So bringing it forward and that was the last step to complete our cover congratulations everyone that stayed all the way to the end of the video and also thank you so much for completing another project with me here on my channel so now let's see how this one looks when we place it on top of the jar so you're just gonna place it right on top just like this as you guys can see and then with the strings you're just going to be pulling them so they go around the jar and then with the strings you can just create a little bow right here and that's it so this is how they both look like as you guys can see i'm so so in love on how both of them turned out they are so so pretty i'm so in love and i think i just had an idea for a christmas gift you could buy maybe a jar with the person's favorite jam inside or you guys can also buy on amazon or ebay an empty one and then you can make the the little cover and then you can give them as a little set how cute is this idea i was thinking just now because maybe i can give one to my mom and she's gonna be so nostalgic about it and she's gonna be like remembering her old times and telling me all the stories and everything about her her mom and her grandmother as well with crochet and everything so i think i'm gonna give one to my mom as a christmas gift but yeah guys this is it for today's video i really really hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial i made with a lot of love and also when i was making this i was remembering my grandma making this and my mom as well because they used to love making these so it's kind of like nostalgic for me to to do this and I have a lot of good memories about it. Also, good luck, guys, on the giveaway. I'm super excited that I can actually gift something to you guys before Christmas time. I'm probably going to be adding a little extra gift 
on that little package as a Christmas gift as well. Maybe a little crochet gift. Let's see what I can come up with. Super excited that I can actually share something with you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give a massive thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe so you can watch more cute tutorials like this one. So thank you guys so much again for watching and I'll see you guys next Friday. Bye.